the left turn on the crowd Love it wild, love it loud The race is hot and the beer's ice cold It's a fast lane love and all the auto road All us race fans are here for just one thing To watch 28,000 horses sing But no time out Johnny Burns on the pole. Tony Smith's on the outside. Inside second row, Walt Haas. On the outside of Walt Haas, 48 car, Anthony Swan. Zero cars, Jerry Crawford. And the 62 cars, Eric Seeley. Off turn four, Anthony Swan backs it into the tires on the front stretch. Full course yellow on lap number two as Anthony Swan sits perpendicular to the race surface. Anthony Swan and in the number one car is Johnny Burnt. Right in the middle, turns one and two, involving most of the field. Tony Smith getting out of that one. He's way out front. Got some crippled race cars out there. Tony Smith out front looking for his first heat win this season, I do believe.
flag and your winner in the number 55 car, Tony Smith. In second place, Johnny Burns. Third place, the number 56 car, Walt Haas. And in fourth place, it's the wild child, Jerry Crawford. programs out there for free hats. Check it out. Larry Hoover to the concession stand. Larry Hoover to the main concession stand. Monaz takes a look underneath the three car off of turn four. Little drag race going on the front stretch. Chris Monez out in front off of turn two. Wes Miller. West Miller looks low underneath the 11 car off of turn four. Gets a fender under the quarter panel off of turn two. They're drag racing again down the back stretch here at Stockton Speedway. It's the Miller and Monez show off of turn two down the back chute. Harry Boletto. Hotwood Western late model heat race. Your winner in the number 87 car from Turlock, Wes Miller. In second place, it's the number 11 car, Chris Monez. In third place, the number 74 car, Harry Boletto. And in fourth place, the number 76 car, Barry Mitchell.
Once again, we ask a one entry blank per person, please. Pete Ramirez is on the poll. Mike Bregelman's on the poll. He shows the outside line. The poll center can choose the outside or the inside line. Mike Bregelman chose the outside line. Mike Bregelman and Pete Ramirez putting on one heck of a hot rod race out there. Pete Ramirez slips a little bit coming off a of turn four. Race car jumps out from underneath him. Looks like he's a little bit loose. In the meantime, Mikey Wegelman rockets out front, hanging on to that 44 car and the lead. Jeff Paletto trying desperately to get around the 75 car of Pete Ramirez. Almost makes it three abreast coming off a of turn four. Paletto working on the left rear fender of Pete Ramirez. White flag. White flag is in the air. We've got race car parts flying all over Stockton Speedway. White flag. White flag is in the air. We've got race car parts flying all over Stockton Speedway. Mike Regelman off a of turn four wins. Mike Regelman wins his very first ever Hotwood Western Late Model Heat Race. A fine job done by the youngster from Ripon, California. Man, oh man. High energy excitement out here in Stockton. Let's talk about who's out there on the pole from Stockton. That's Doug Lane in the number 12 car. Tim Smith in the 87 car. John Unger in the number 9 car. That's Jeff Thomas in the number 15 car. Jim Marcheneau in the 12X car. That's Cal Economy in the number 20 car from Stockton. Ben Lewis in the number 11 car from Stockton. Stuart Cullum. And in the number 22 car from Stockton, that's Darren Alterman. For the Grand American Modified Division, I believe we're going to transfer four, four cars to the main event. for the lead. Ben Lewis, Ben Lewis up in smoke is turn four. Six laps down, caution flag flies. 
John Unger is your leader. Tim Smith is in second place. Doug Lane is in third place. And in fourth place, Jeff Thomas. And we want to thank all the fine folks from InjuryHelpline.com. They're the ones down there in the yellow t-shirts. They're kind of out here today rooting for uh, Mike David, maybe? Yeah, I believe it is. racing for that transfer spot and there's Jim Marchino in the 15 car he wants to transfer to the main event as well And Jeff Thomas, and in fourth place, the number 28 car, Doug Lane. And if my information is correct, those four cars will transfer to tonight's feature, main event for the Grand American Modified Division. And now it's autograph session time. Check it out. The Winston West drivers have just paraded down in front of you. They'll go down to the other end of the grandstand where they will be available for autographs. flag falls and your winner is Greg Williams in the number four car. In second place from Sacramento, Jason Philpott. In third place, the number 66 car, Mike Regelman. And in fourth place, the number 21 car, Kyle Catula.
time around. The gates are locked. The lights are out. It's Trophy Dash time. Brought to you by Subway Sandwiches. Checkered flag and your winner in the 74 car from Modesto, hard charging Harry Boletto. In second place, the number 87 car from Turlock, Wes Miller. In third place, the number 29 car is Tracy Bolin. And in fourth place, the 02 car from Citrus Heights, Eddie Laws. you by Dave Davis Racing Chassis and BNR Engines. In the number six car, once again, Sam Soleri. Brought to you by Pinella Motorsports and Mom and Dad. In the number 66 car, from Ripon, that's Mike Regelman. Brought to you by Pacific Truck Tank Lines Incorporated. The Graphic Touch, the Exhaust Pros, Auto Body and Paint, and Veterinary Services Incorporated. Once again, in the 66 car, Mike Regelman. In the number five car from Sacramento, brought to you by Winds, Galt Frosty, Pro Farms Equestrian Center, and the world famous Cooks Racing Pigs, that's Jason Philpott. In the number 21 car from Modesto, brought to you by Dos Oki's sale, Auto Sales, and Modesto Transmission, Kyle Gatula. In the number four car from Ceres, brought to you by Racecraft, KC Drywall and Family Dental Practice in Modesto, Greg Williams. The number 98 car from Stockton, Aaron Young, brought to you by Dave Davis Racing Chassis, BNR Racing Engines, and Off-Road Enterprises. The number 91 car, Steve Stacy, brought to you by Stacy Plastering. SPC in Stockton, that's Stockton Petroleum Company, and California Welding, once again in the 91 car, Steve Stacy. In the number 10 car from Citrus Heights, brought to you by G. Glenn Plastering and the inside track of Stockton, that's Jay Lindstrom. In the number 13 car from Galt, brought to you by Winslow Fabrication, Ellis Race Cars, and Sticky Member Graphics, that's Jason Kirby. In the number 27 car from Granite Bay, brought to you by Balco Construction, Seal Sign, Motofly, and Vice's Auto Collision, along with JM Environmental, that's John Moore. In the number 30 car, from Nevada City, brought to you by SPD Market, Plaza Tire, and Nevada City Auto, along with Welch Motorsports. That's Hap Faree. In the number 47 car. Once again from Rippin, that's Ed Cullum. Don't have any sponsor information right now, but we'll get it to you. In the number 39 car from Stockton, brought to you by Short Track Suspension, Stockton Wheel, Paws Performance Center, and the Shamrock of Tracy, that's Chris Mays. In the number one car, 
Tonight, brought to you by Roy Thurnboy, Thurnberry Trucking, Reeves Sand and Gravel, Weisner Toretto Machine Shop, that's Fred Guffmiller. In the number 87 car from Stockton, brought to you by Bruce's Body Shop, Sagali Signs, Teltac, and Alan Yorty Motorsports, that's John Unger. In the number 12 car from Roseville, brought to you by Quist Integrity Financial Group, CTX Mortgage, and Bosch Power Tools, along with Penny Racing Supply, that's Tim Smith. In the number 9 car, he is from Stockton. He's brought to you by Patsy's Paycheck, Gordon's Club, and TNT Motorsports, Jeff Thomas. And in the number 28 car from Stockton, brought to you by Paws Performance Center, Heaven Sent Catering, Stockton Tree Service, and the graduate, that's Doug Lane. Yellow flag flies on lap number three as the 28 car of Doug Lane is parked up against the backstretch fence just underneath the Garton tractor sign. Moreland did not like that particular start and I can't say that I blame him. The cars need to be more even across the stripe. We'll try it again.
Spins his car around, backs it into the fence at the front stretch. As soon as we find out driver's condition, we'll let you know. He's out of the car. He can definitely hear you. Greg Williams, tough break. Tough break from the guy from Ceres, California. Or John Moore, excuse me. John Moore. Had Greg Williams on the brain here for some reason. John Moore is okay. Well, it just goes to show you, you can't read and announce at the same time. It's like walking and chewing gum. I have a hard time with that. But I'm glad that John Moore is okay. Oh, Hooker. We want to thank our tow trucks as well. Tonight we have from Repco Tow, Chuck Carmen in the little brown tow truck. We have Citywide out here tonight, Citywide Tow. And Tuleyberg. Tuleyberg is here with us tonight along with Pacific Tow. fun yet? I know that Danny Conosoto is. He's on the pole. I know Sam Solari's having a ball out there in that number six car. Jason Philpott, he's having a good time. He's in a number five car. Smith was in a very precarious position right there off of turn four. Spins his number 12 race car on lap number 14. Your leader is now from Salida, California. He is Sam Soleri. Once again, Danny Conosoto on the pole. Sam Soleri's on the outside. flies on lap number 16. Modified main event. 16 laps down, about 14 to go if my Jethro Bodine School of Cyprin is correct.
checkered yellow as the 21 car crosses the finish line first. Few laps previous to that, the six car and the 21 car did come together. The six car had the lead up until that point. At this point, the finish is obviously unofficial. And obviously dejected, Sam Soleri makes his way over to the 21 car for a few words. Associates Insurance and the Exhaust Pros, that's Chris Monez. In the number five car, he's from Stockton, brought to you by JM Seal Coat and Paving, Allen and Sons Construction, A1 Transmission, Genova Bakery, Short Track Suspension, from Stockton, Speed Racer himself, that's Pete Anderson Jr. In the number 20 car, from Modesto, brought to you by Hotwood, Giant Discount Tire, Dave, Davis Motorsports, and Chassis, Lagorio Communications, Cruz Lucas Body and Paint, Esco, Dr. Vandemark, Boletto's Auto Glass, and Pacifica Pizza. That's Jeff Boletto. In the number 87 car, from Turlock, brought to you by Modesto Masonry, Fremont Automotive, Transmissions by Hal, The Rear End Shop, and Circle Track Graphics. That's Wes Miller. In the number 29 car from Valley Springs, brought to you by Bolin Builders and Roost Racing, that's Tracy Bolin. In the number 74 car from Modesto, brought to you by Hotwood, Perco's Cafe, Legorio Communications, Monogram Magic, Boletto's Auto Glass, Esco Caterpillar Repair, Bob's Body Shop, Pacifica Pizza, All-American Powder Coating, Bob Pinella Motorsports, and AG Sign, that's hard charging Harry Boletto. In the 02 car from Citrus Heights, brought to you by Lincoln Auto Body, Precision Lathing, Penny Racing Supply, Performance Auto Supply of Marysville, and R&R Photography of Yuba City, along with Lincoln Lubingo. He set fast time today in the qualifying efforts. That's Eddie Laws. In the number 17 car, from Series, brought to you by David's Racing Products, McCoy Enterprises, C.L. Bryant, Diaz Trucking, A&B Truck Repair, Tees and Tops, and the Mint Club, that's Verge Beatty. In the number 76 car, from Stockton, brought to you by Action Floors, Jory Welch Construction, all about stuff, Stock car fabrication. Special thanks to Donna and Debbie and Brenda Goldman. That's Barry Mitchell. Let's get back up to the number 27 car. That is John Moore. John Moore is brought to you by JM Environmental. A. Elko Environmental Construction. PRS Racing, Wenzel Fabrication, Welch Motorsports, Vice's Auto Collision, and Seal Sign. Once again in the 27 car, John Moore. Now, moving on back to number three. That's the number three car. He's from Lodi. He's brought to you by Royce. Barbecue, Valley Industries, Allen Yorty Motorsports, Transmissions by Hal, Brackets Garage, Big O Tires, The Golden Ox Restaurant, and McSparron Auto Glass. From Lodi in the number three car is Robert Knittle.
in the number 75 car from Manteca, brought to you by Short Track Suspension, Al Yorty Motorsports, B&R Racing Engines, All-American Powder Coating, Auto Industrial Paint Company, and McSparren Auto Glass, with special thanks to Mike and Bev, and Premier Drywall, that's Pete Ramirez. In the number 40 car, he's from Galt. He's brought to you by Premier Drywall, Olympic Tune, American Fabrication and Welding, Picasso's Paint, Davis and Son Roofing, DNS Construction, and Short Track Suspension. That's Ray Davis. In the number zero car, he's from Stockton. He's brought to you by Short Track Suspension, Pilcher Farms, Roger Pilcher Trucking, Paws Automotive, and special thanks to Dad. He's the wild child. That's Jerry Crawford. Pulling up in the number 62 car from Modesto, brought to you by Modesto Transmissions, United Rental, Series Truck Equipment, David's Racing Products. In the 62 car, that's Eric Seeley. In the number 48 car, he's from Newark. He's brought to you by Autoglass Specialties, Swan Racing, and Jim and Megan Walters. That's Anthony Swan. In the number 56 car, he's from Antioch. He's brought to you by the Antioch Parts Depot, Klein Racing Supply, and their wallets. That's the number 56 car of Walt Haas. In the number 55 car, he's from Modesto. He's brought to you by Schmidt's Truck Repair, Cox Construction, Vincent's Quality Engine Rebuilding, SNL Excavating, Clawson Trucking, and special thanks to Cindy, an old racing buddy of mine from a long time ago. That's Tony Schmidt. And last, but certainly not least, in the number one car, from Clements. Brought to you by Brackett's Garage, The Auto House in Lockford, Lodi Tire Service, Cherokee Auto Body, HP Engine, Wingham and Burnt Farms, and Dave Bender. Also transmissions by Hal and Ted's Welding, that's Johnny Burnt. And now, come on guys, uh, help me out. Let's do a three, two, one. How about it? Three, two, one. You know what to say. and Dodge Discount Dodge Land Pace Truck is off the racetrack. The gates are locked. The lights are out. It's stock car racing time.
car off of four. Caution flag flies for the 76 car and Barry Mitchell parked up there against the turn three fence. Pete Anderson Jr. from Stockton is your leader. Pete Anderson Jr. did not necessarily want to see this yellow flag at this time. Had a considerable lead on the rest of the field. Announcer guy is always the last to know. But there it is. It's off the track. The little flashy blinky yellow lights, they're not on. Starter John Moreland is ready. Look out, here they come. Oh no, Russ Miller crashed, boom, bang, and the turn two, Russ Miller. Oh no, Russ Miller crashed, boom, bang, and the turn two, Russ Miller crashes his number 87 race car into the turn two fence on that restart. I don't know it all, but I know what I know when I tell you to keep your eyes on a restart. You don't want to miss those. 
Man, oh man, tough break for the number 87 car in West Miller. He groove he wants to, either the high line or the low line. Pete Anderson Jr. chose to take the high line. That is sometimes the preferred line for momentum. We'll see if it works for him this time around. Number 29, Hotwood Western Late Model wins tonight's feature event. What a great job. Followed by the number 74 car, Hard Charge and Harry Paletto. In third place, it's the number 5 car of Pete Anderson Jr. And there's a box of donuts for you. In fourth place from Lodi, the number 11 car, Chris Monez. Tracy Bowen is one happy camper about this time, and you can't hardly blame him. That car is pretty twisted up on the front end. However, that thing stuck and did just what it was supposed to do. Congratulations, Tracy Bowen. And the six of Keith Van Houten. Watch him right now as Jack O'Neill gets him started. Slow, slow, slow. We'll go 200 left. Get it out. The jump on the outside. Johnny Borderman. It's Borderman and Brandon Nash. Side by side. They complete lap number one with Johnny Borderman, the leader. Foreman, Brandon Ash, they're back to two car Mike David. The great lap number two, your leader, Johnny Borman. Brandon Ash, Mike David, then back to 85 of Kevin Richards. The nine of Mike Duncan. 32, Eric Norris, and the 16.
Johnny Borland. Brandon Ash. That third spot now goes to the 85. Kevin Richards. Richards grabs the third spot. the restart from Jack O'Neill assisted by Matt Patterson he slows him down gets the jump gets the bike gets the run they're on the way Johnny Borneman and then back to Mike Davis they are stacked up tight as they come out of turn number four complete top number 15 200 make up the distance for the Napa Auto Parts 200. Johnny Barnum. Back to Mike David. Kevin Richards. One, two, and three. We'll watch the break. Sabre hit it and blow it off. As they anchor the 3,400 pound Thunderfire. Out of turn number four. 17 down. John Bordeman. Now Kevin Richards makes a move for spot number two and backs off. 